DaVinci Resolve Micro Panel is designed to give you more speed and control whilst colour grading within DaVinci Resolve. Although it doesn't have all of the features of the Advanced Panel or the Mini Panel, it's still the perfect solution for anyone who's working on set to do dailies without the need for large secondary grades. Its small size makes it perfect for mobility, but it still packs a wide range of functions that we are going to take a look at in this video, as well as show you how to set it up. The micro panel connects over USB-C and comes with a USB-C to A cable to connect it to any computer. Once the panel is connected, you can open the DaVinci Resolve Panels application, where you can give your panel a name and update the firmware if it requires it. To select the panel within DaVinci Resolve, go to File Preferences and then Control Panels will appear on the left hand side. If you select this, you'll see a drop down box where you can select the micro panel if DaVinci Resolve hasn't already automatically found it. Once you select the panel, you may have to save and restart the application. The main three controls of the micro panel are the trackballs and rings found on the centre of the unit. These trackballs control the RGB values for lift, gamma and gain, whilst the rings around the edges control the Y channel. This allows us to independently adjust luminance or red, green and blue values for all of our shadows, midtones and highlights. Above the trackballs, we have the log, offset and viewer buttons. The log button will enable the log primaries controls, which is a very strict range allowing for much finer adjustments. The offset button will make the third trackball function as your offset control, so you can adjust the entire image from one single control whilst the rings around the first two trackballs will function for temperature and tint. The viewer button will enable a full screen view on your main display GUI. Above the log, offset and viewer buttons we have the rotary encoders which control everything else within the primaries palette within DaVinci Resolve such as your contrast, saturation and hue. In the bottom right hand side of the panel are the transport controls for play forward, play backwards and stop. Just like JKL editing, the more times you press play, the faster the play speed will be. Above that, we have transport controls for next frame, previous frame and even next and previous nodes. Above that, we have the final set of controls that allow us to grab and play stills, loop playback, reset and disable nodes. If we press and hold reset, we can reset the entire grade for the clip that we're currently on. To reset any of the rotary encoders, simply press them firmly downwards. Once I've grabbed a still, I can then play it, which means it'll overlay on top of the clip that I'm currently looking at, allowing me to match the two shots. Stills also contain grade information from the clip that they were captured from, so we can right click on the clip and then select apply grade which will copy the grade from the clip that the still was grabbed from to the clip that we are currently viewing. The micro panel's small form factor makes it perfect for anyone who needs to be mobile when they work. If you're a DIT and you're on set and you need to do primary grades for dailies rather than getting into secondaries like qualifiers or windows, the micro panel's perfect. It's also great for those who are just starting out. You may not want to spend all the money on a larger panel with features that you're not quite sure on how to use yet, well, the micro panel allows you to jump in and get the basics of colour grading down. If you have any questions, then please don't hesitate to contact us.